Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium here in the northern Qatari city of Al Khor. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Brazil, and they take on Serbia. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And the contest begins. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson begins in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. And the striker is Richarlison. Can he finish? Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. So the corner played into the box and the danger still on and the corner has been given a very effective clearance Casimiro on to Danilo must take the lead here He's foiled them on his own. Luka Jovic. Richarlison. And in with a real chance. And a goal! Now they have their opener. And now they can celebrate. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Blazovic. Tadic has it. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Now, let's see what they can do here. Well, disappointing end to the move. Can he find the right pass? Vraovic. Chance maybe. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop and then the reaction. Paqueta. On the ball, Richarlison. Well, he's given it away. Lazovic. Oh, he's really opened them up here. And Neymar's lost the defenders. In it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. As you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And then through on goal, you never really had any doubt that he wouldn't slot that away. It's a cool finish. So the ball rolling again at 2-0.
Oh, super piece of play. Punched away. Vlahovic. And we will have just one additional minute. Going well. Well, here's the replay, and I have to say, the keeper's got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor piece of goalkeeping. So, the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, you've got to say, Neymar has been at his sublime best up to now, Stuart. But did we expect anything less? Well, he's been at his best today. He just seems to get his shots away so easily and he's taking his goals really well. Brilliant stuff from him. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Oh, nice ball over the top. Oh, he looks threatening. Well, far too much on that particular cross. Milinkovic Savic. Vlahovic. Effective challenge. Kostic. Tadic. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, Brazil have bossed the possession, as you can see. And that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic... Oh, Stewart, an opportunity! A smart stop here. And now the delivery. Well, it still could be dangerous. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Vinicius Jr. Vinicius! Well, an attempt to forget all about, unfortunately. Yeah, got it all wrong, trying to pass it into the corner, opened up his body, but didn't make the right sort of contact. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Goudel. Babic. Nemanja Goudel. Lazovic. Well, advantage with them. Referee says play on. Oh, moving it nicely. And they could face difficulties here. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, it fizzled out. Luka Jovic. And the cross not sufficiently well played in. Richarlison. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Well, they've decided to make a change. Go, go, go. 
Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. Luka Jovic. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And the referee blows for full time. Most acceptable for all Brazilian fans. A victory here, Stuart. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. So, Neymar hits the headlines again. Your verdict on what he actually produced? Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder. Took his goals well, too. Clearly the difference maker today. Already here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup, there is much on the line. And with the right result, they'll book a place for themselves in the round of 16. Can they do it? It's live next on EA TV. Hello, a very good evening to you. This is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of the Doha city centre. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And it's second time around in the group stage for these two teams. How do you see it panning out, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek. This won't be easy, but a win here, and they will be through to the knockout stages. If they perform at their best, I think they will get the three points that they need. This is how the starting lineup looks today. Jan Zoma is the goalkeeper. Manuel Akanji plays with Nico Elvedi in central defence. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson begins in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. And the striker is the very creative and eye-catching Richarlison. Danilo. Well, no problems defensively. Braille Embolo. On the ball, Noah Okafor. That's a very fine piece of tackling. Shot attempted. Terrific block. Getting forward, real chance, and there it is, 1-0, the efforts have been rewarded, and look at the celebrations. Well, let's see this again, this is counter-attacking football at its very best, but when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper, he should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post, that's not good keeping. One nil then. Okafor. Freiler in possession. Embolo. Top class defending. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. And that 
will be a corner. Favouring the short one. Silvan Widmer. Well, they've given him too much space. Electing to cross into the centre. And the last touch off the defender, so a corner coming up. Let's see about the delivery. Oh, a very fine header, but it wouldn't go in for him. Growing pressure here, and another corner. Plattered away. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Braille Embolo. Zakaria. Looking for that final pass, and for that chance to level the game. Well, Brazil, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. Magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Over it comes. Not quite what they were working on in training this week. And so it is. The first half story has been written. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Good tackle. Casemiro. Vinicius. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. 2-0 now and back underway. Sylvain Widmer. Went in strongly to win the ball. Neymar. Nicely parried away. Corner awarded. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Who can they pick out? There to take it away. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? He's in here. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. 
He skips past his marker and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Richarlison. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Okafor. Jordan Shakiri has it. Oh, great defending. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Plenty of support here. Keeper getting the touch. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. <laughs> Neymar. Danilo. There's the feed into the box. Well, threat averted. And he takes it away. And Neymar, a real opening now. It's still alive. Threat over for now, it seems. Aris Seferovic. Shakiri. Well, the shot more than decent. It had power, just couldn't find the target. And with play stop, they will make the change now. And the final whistle has sounded, and it's a good news story for Brazil. The Seleção will be moving on. And on the evidence of what we've seen so far, they look a top-quality side. They're going to be hard to beat in this competition. All in all, he did plenty of good things in the game. Well, I think he'd be disappointed that he didn't affect the game. He did OK, but in the end, it wasn't enough. And the match is underway. Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And the group stage action has been pulsating up to this point. This is the final game of the group for these two sets of players. Stuart, what are you expecting to see? Well, it's vital that you don't have an off day in these group games. Consistency is key to progressing further in the tournament. I'm looking forward to a hard-fought contest here today, Derek. And number 10, Vincent Abubakar. And the contest begins. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, let's see about the cross. Well, not the best clearance. And problem solved for now. The starting 11 for Brazil. 
Alisson begins in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. And the striker is the very creative and eye-catching Richarlison. Onguisa. Malong. Choupo-Moting. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. And over it comes. And room now out on the flank. And he's through here. And there it is. Neymar has done it to put his team in front. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick, and it's a great finish. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure, and finds the back of the net. It's a marvellous goal. One nil, then. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. And Bubakar. Well, the cross came over and a real need to get rid of the ball here. Counter-attacking, very much an option. But the danger averted for now. Malong. André Franck, Zombo, Onguisa. Good pressure high up the pitch. Oh, that's a really good run. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area. And what about the finish? With such control and technique, that could have gone anywhere, but not with his skill. It's a great goal. So, a level contest. 1-1. And he's got the beating of his opponent. Neymar. And a chance for them to nudge in front. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, here we can see it again. And he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Determined block. Well, they've won themselves a corner and a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security. And that will be written down as an own goal. No wonder he's hanging his head. Well, as you can see, it came off him last. And as a result, it will be an own goal. So unfortunate. So back underway at 3-1. Oh, he 
really looks threatening. Got Stamp defending when it mattered. Shupomoting. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. He's in with a chance. Oh, he saved it. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, you've got to say Neymar has been at his sublime best up to now, Stuart. But did we expect anything less? Well, what can you say about him today? He's been a real live wire, full of tricks, great feet and good goals as well. Top stuff. So the ball moving again. The pendulum having already swung Brazil's way. What sort of performance can they produce this half? Good looking move this. And a good looking ball. And a time for cool heads. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Abubakar, not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Paqueta. On the ball, Richarlison. Able to deal with the threat. And play halted, free kick given. Time for a change then. So a half an hour remaining. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. He has teammates around him. Vinicius Jr. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Malong. Committed challenge. And given away. Richarlison. It's Neymar. And that's the hat trick. Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. And the action underway once more, with Brazil very much on top. Eder Militao. Richarlison. Shot attempted. Oh, a superb save. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Over it comes, and he's clear his lines, and crossed in there. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. So two minutes of stoppage time here. 
Mbemo. Excellent ball over the top. And the referee blows for full time. Most acceptable for all Brazilian fans. A victory here, Stuart. Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening. And they played really well. What a performance that was today. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, if you want a passionate international football rivalry, you've got one here. Brazil and Uruguay. It evokes memories of 1950 and the so-called Maracanazo when Uruguay spoiled the Brazilian party. You have to take into account the fact that Uruguay is a tiny country compared to Brazil, Stuart. You're absolutely right, Derek. But Uruguay, over the years, have produced great players. They've produced some really good sides. They've got an outstanding manager. This should be a really good game, but you have to say Brazil are favourites. I don't think Uruguay have quite got the team to match Brazil today. And they kick off here. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Big moment here, Derek. Well, let's just see this again. What a pass this is from Neymar. And then just look at the finish, Derek. As cool as you like, just to flick it behind that standing leg. And it's left everybody mesmerised. It's a stunning goal. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Moving it forward. It could be. Oh, a smart stop. Paqueta. Well, what a good piece of goalkeeping that was. But the equaliser can't be long in coming, surely. And looking to apply further pressure from this position. Not a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Torreira. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Vinicius Junior. Danilo. Is this the moment? Oh, must be. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. So, the ball rolling again. 2-0. Giorgian de Arascaeta. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. And not an effort that will live long in the memory. Well, the defenders will be relieved because that was a good chance. From that sort of distance, he should really be hitting the target. It was a really poor attempt in the end. Eder Militao. Rafinha. Vinicius. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Chance to run at them. So a throw in here. Yeah. 
could play it in. Suarez. And a decent save. Full credit. Now sending it in. Well, Brazil haven't bossed the possession, as you can see, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Torreira. Caceres. Now with Cavani. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Chance to do damage. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Rafinha. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Cavani that is that for the first half here So back in business here, and no two ways about it. It was an eye-catching first-half performance from Brazil. Are they capable of matching that in the second half? Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Neymar. Nicely timed tackle. Darwin Nunez, Bentancur, <laughs> Lucas Torreira now, well that's how to keep the opposition at bay, now counter-attacking possibilities here, Oliveira, return to Bentancur, and that will be a corner. Well, they've decided to make a change. And over it comes. It might still be problematic. And with that, the attack fizzles out. The keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Good technique displayed. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Lucas Paqueta. Can he find the net? and searching for his seconds, but the keeper equal to the task. Well, he's looking really lively, isn't he? Every time he gets the ball, he looks a threat. Substitution time it is here. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Not away completely. It did look on for them, but not to be. Nunez and he's got the beating of his opponent Vinicius Junior they couldn't maintain possession well they are committed to making the substitution here
Torreira. De Arascaeta. Very quick thinking there. Could pull one back here. Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. Five minutes to go. Alexandro. Richarlison. Opportunity here. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Three goals without reply. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. De Arascaeta. And there's the referee's whistle. And Brazil have made it through to the quarterfinals. Well, it was all at a bit of a canter, to be honest. They dominated pretty much from the start, and it left the result in little doubt. They'll be full of confidence going into the next round. Well, he hasn't quite had the impact and attack that we were expecting, Stuart. Well, he didn't have his best game, but he still played a part in the team's victory. He certainly made a contribution. And the match begins. Hello and welcome. The floodlights are shining down here at the 80,000 capacity Lusail Stadium just to the north of Doha. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And what we have on the menu for you is this World Cup quarter-final. It's Croatia against Brazil. Well, this has the makings of a very good game. Two sides full of quality, a great atmosphere and everything to play for. A last four places up for grabs here. And this confrontation is underway. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Luka Modric plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Andrei Kramaric. And getting the ball forward. Juranovic. And no way through. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson begins in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. And the striker is Richarlison. Oh, he can score here, Derek. And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. An awful lot of green space to run into. Can he do it? But it will not stand offside, Stuart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? He certainly thought so. He's making that clear to the linesman now. Samiro, his pass gobbled up. 
Perisic. Here's Modric. Well, the supporters think it's on. Simple save, really. Well, the referee had to stop play, and he's doing that now so the player can receive treatment. So following the stoppage, back underway with a drop ball. And unable to keep possession. Gvardiol. Perisic. And Brazil have it back now. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Brozovic Kramaric the ball with Luka Modric Luka Modric Modric well it wasn't a simple save to make Casemiro an incisive pass And he did what he had to do defensively. Ivan Perisic. And Sosa here. Modric. Mateo Kovacic. And Kramaric on the ball. And he read it well. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So back underway here, Brazil with the lead, but this game a long way from being done and dusted. Well, they have the ball once more. Juranovic. Well, that is how to play advantage. Well, the advantage didn't come to very much, hence the award of a free kick by the referee. Possession lost, intercepted. And this is Brozovic. Terrific block. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty. Attempting the through ball. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, he
here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and it's a great finish. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure, and finds the back of the net. It's a marvellous goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Mateo Kovacic. Good use of advantage by the referee. Oh, good play this. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. He's in here. Can he convert? That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. And time for the change now. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Not all that convincing defensively. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Mateo Kovacic. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Richarlison. Can he do it? Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Now sending it in. Couldn't keep it. The cross is on. Oh, breezing past him. Able to deal with the threat. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Well, far from textbook defending. Is it going to be? Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Five minutes left. Andre Kramaric. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Defenders need to cover. Vinicius! Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Full time and Brazil guaranteed to be in the last four here at the World Cup. Well, as the scoreline would suggest, it was a comfortable win, but they had to play really well to get their victory. In particular, I thought their midfield really imposed themselves on the game. They'll need to continue that going into the next round. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, I have to say that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was... And then there were four. Both teams have dazzled and delighted us throughout. But who will make it to the World Cup final? Stay tuned. We're live next on EA TV. It's fair to say that tension levels have been heightened as we get ready for this semi-final here at the 2022 World Cup. My name is Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And a special atmosphere for this very special contest. It's the United States against Brazil. Well, this could be an absolute classic. 
and the prize couldn't be any bigger, could it? A place in the World Cup final. Let's just hope we get two teams that want to play good football and come out and attack the opposition. This should be a good game. And now they get the ball rolling. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. And the striker is the very creative and eye-catching Richarlison. How a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Just the clearance that was called for. Can he find the right pass? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, I'm sure he's going to score another goal today because he's got four in the last three games. He's a player full of confidence and every time he makes a forward run, he looks as though he's going to get in behind. He's in outstanding form at the moment. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Richard Lasson, well it could be on for him here. Can they put it away? Threat over for now it seems. Brendan Aronson. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Applying vigorous pressure. Richarlison. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. He just couldn't play that decisive ball. It was anything but. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. And short it is. Can he convert? No way through. Oh, that is extraordinary! True athleticism to make contact in that fashion. And it's one of the finest goals you're ever likely to see. Simply stunning. Well, just look at this. Magnificent agility, perfect timing and great connection. What a goal that is. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Charleson. This is looking threatening. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Brendan Aronson. Richarlison. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. And Pulisic has it. And with that, the first half draws to a close.
Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. And clears his lines. Vinicius Junior. And teammates to play it to. And the danger is still there. Richarlison. Oh, a really crisp effort, but just wide. deliver it with accuracy not really the ideal clearance and they will be awarded a free kick for that oh big chance he's blocked it and a corner to Brazil and maybe an opportunity for them to make it look even better Delivering it, well, not the best clearance. Firing it towards goal, well, tremendous block. Can he make it count? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. In with a chance. And the challenge, crisp and clean. Paqueta. On to Richarlison. It might still be problematic. Determined defending. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Well, Brazil have been in complete control over the last 15 minutes and have been pressing to extend their lead. They just need to be a bit more clinical in front of goal. Richarlison, Richarlison, and a goal! They've extended the lead, well plenty of time remaining, this is far from over, but they're well on course for a place in the final. Well here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through, the vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique, what an emphatic finish that is. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Carter Vickers and a fine tackle and just five minutes remaining he could pick out a teammate lack of guile with regard to that cross goalkeeper's ball Roldan the referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. A running room in the wide position. Really good high press. The referee brings this semi-final to an end and we can say it officially. Brazil will be competing for the World Cup in the final. Well, they won most of the individual battles all over the park today and that was key to their comfortable win in the end. It was a really composed display in a very important game and they'll certainly fancy their chances in the final. Well, impossible to ask footballers to produce magic every single...
The stage is set and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? Stay right here on EA TV for all the live action. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city center ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Brazil and they take on Spain. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. And they kick off here. Ferran Torres. The ball with Rodri. Laporte. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. And the striker is the very creative and eye-catching Richarlison. And the emphasis is on creativity. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Well, opting for the short corner. Opportunity, and there it is! Living history, the opening goal of the 2022 World Cup Final. Incredible celebrations. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So, underway again here, 1-0 the score. Chance to finish! Oh, a goal! How about that for a degree of difficulty? Simply off the charts! Well, just look at this. Magnificent agility, perfect timing and great connection. What a goal that is. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Marcos Llorente. Options in the middle. This looks more than decent. Still work to do. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Who's going to get on the end of it? And up for grabs off the keeper. Paqueta, now with Vinicius Junior, in with a chance, well the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well he's so good in those 1v1 moments and he's proved it yet again. He's driven in the corner. Well great read there to intercept. Oh, a nice-looking pass, real chance, and a decent save, full credit. 
Marcos Llorente. Well, Brazil have bossed the possession, as you can see. And oh, hang it. on, Stuart, look at this. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Danny Olmo comes to attack using wit and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end that's useful play fine tackle there to prevent the chance well the electronic board showing one additional minute and so it is, the first half story has been written. So the ball moving again. The pendulum having already swung Brazil's way. What sort of performance can they produce this half? Vinicius Jr. Vinicius! Not the best clearance. And I think the threat has been averted. Ferran Torres. Can they hit on the break? Making a bit of headway. And still danger here. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Vinicius Junior. But is Charleson really getting stuck in? Gabby. He's not testing the keeper at all with that cross. Keeper not concentrating. Richarlison. And attempting the through ball. And tossing through. Oh, terrific goal! How about that? Absolutely magnificent. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and then from there, the keeper has little chance. Two on one, left completely exposed, and it made for a simple finish in the end. So the action continues, and it's been a thorough masterclass from Brazil so far. You do sense it's a question of how many. And into the last 20 minutes. Still trying to make something happen. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Danny Olmo. And with that, the attack fizzles out. He takes aim. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. 
Vinicius Junior. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? Looks like a twisted knee from down here. And you can just see him trying out. But at the moment, he's carrying on. Cheers, Jeff. Richarlison. And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. Jordi Alba. Here is Marco Asensio. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. He's in position. And the referee brings this final to an end for the first time in 20 years. Brazil are world champions once more. Well, no surprise there, Derek. Brazil have been brilliant and they fully deserve this trophy. Brazil, the world champions. And this triumph, you just feel, Stuart, is going to be fondly remembered by all Brazilians. You're absolutely right. They've played some great football. They've been inspiring. There's been some great individual performances. It's been outstanding from them.